Uh, doctor, tell me what we're looking at and uh, basically just help us understand that inflammation that happens in the lungs when it comes to asthma. Sure. Uh, what we see here is a uh, essentially the uh, and uh, the uh, the trachea, the two uh, bronchi, the main stem bronchus, the right and left, and both lungs. The uh, the uh, airways uh, become a whole network of uh, uh, little tubings that deliver air uh, to the various parts of the lung, as you can see here. When individuals have asthma, there is a a, a perpetual and constant inflammation in their airways and this is something that that is always there and uh, requires active treatment in order to uh, keep the, the uh, disease under control. Part of the disease also is uh, excessive mucus production. Um, the airway of individuals with asthma contain uh, glands that their sole responsibility is to produce mucus and these are always more uh, there's greater number of these glands and they're hypertrophied which means that they are larger so they produce a copious amount of secretions constantly and that is part of the uh, physiology of, of asthma uh, that's why you, you may see in certain products cough products that uh, n not to administer them to asthmatics because w the last thing you want is to dry up these secretions and avoid uh, them to be able to expectorate it. So in, in a nutshell, that's th those are, are two of the m most important uh, uh, features of, uh, of the uh, airway of an asthmatic, which are inflammation and mucus production. And doctor, we obviously see the left and right side of the lobes there. Is it always on both sides or can it be more prevalent on one side? No, it's pretty much homogenous. Uh, you know, it's, it affects the entire, the entire airway and it pretty much in a pretty similar way. And there are different stages of asthma, different types, right? Um, uh, asthma, we classify it according to its uh, severity and the persistent. Uh, persistence, mm -hmm. so it's uh, mild, moderate, or severe, and uh, either uh, intermittent or persistent asthma.